Since 1876, there has been an American National Baseball League, but no one is quite sure when or where the game of baseball began. There have been many different stories told about the game's origins over the years. In the early 18th century, a game called baseball was played in England, and many people have suggested that the games of baseball and cricket have very similar origins. But what is certain is that today, baseball is thought of as an American sport. It's the national sport of the United States that's played and watched by millions of fans across the USA every year. Even Americans who've never played the game will often wear baseball caps. It's almost a national costume. And real baseball fans are passionate about their sport. For some people, baseball becomes their life. Author Vince Gennaro writes about baseball and is a lifelong fan. I was introduced to baseball at a very young age. My grandfather and my father were both big baseball fans. On May 17, 1957, at five years old, I went to my first baseball game at Yankee Stadium. And I can remember the sights of seeing the green grass, because of course back then we were looking at black and white television. So to see the colors and the green grass and the smells of the hot dogs and the popcorn just was captivating. And if you go to nearly any park in the U.S., you are sure to see the game being played by people of all ages, old and young. In many parks, there are baseball diamonds where fans can practice pitching, catching, and batting safely, and amateur leagues can play. Like football, all you really need is an open space and a few people who want to play. Add the bat and the ball, and the game is on. What is it that makes baseball such a popular sport in the U.S.? By the time most American children start school, they've already learned how to catch a baseball. And many play the sport through elementary school, high school, and into their college years. Baseball is a competitive game for even the youngest players. Some high school games are covered by local media and watched by professional teams looking for new talent. Often, major league teams snap up the gifted young players before they even reach college. 16-year-old Mike plays for his high school team, the Blue Devils, and hopes to continue playing as he enters college. I started playing baseball when I was uh, three or four years old, and now I'm 16 and I'm, I'm the backup to the second baseman. Countless teenagers like Mike have dreamed about becoming professional baseball players ever since they first picked up a bat. And there are great rewards for the best players. Much like the world's best footballers, baseball superstars are getting higher and higher salaries. Baseball players can make as much as 25 to $30 million for one season. Now that's rare and reserved for the top stars, but that's the kind of dollars that we see. But baseball is most popular as a spectator sport, with hundreds of thousands of fans regularly going to stadiums to support their favorite teams. Vince explains what makes the game so attractive to him as a spectator. It's a game that's passed down from mothers and fathers to sons and daughters. It's a way to share a weekend afternoon in the summer. It really gives a family an opportunity to be part of something and share something together. And that's one of the things I love about baseball. Watching the crowds arriving for a major league game, it's easy to see what Vince means. Going to a baseball game is a great day out for families, and it's as much about the socializing, the food, and the merchandise as it is about the sport for many fans. You don't even have to leave your seat to get food in many stadiums. Of course, it's a game for serious sports fans, too. In baseball in America today, there are 30 Major League Baseball teams, and, and these teams, like the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox or the Chicago Cubs, 
or the Los Angeles Dodgers very much are linked to the identity of their city. And baseball is a complex sport of scores, statistics, and team rivalries, where fans record every hit and run and follow their home teams with passion. Despite all the attractions of baseball, the sport hasn't become a global passion in the same way that football has. It isn't even an Olympic sport anymore. But baseball has been working hard to change this, and interest has been growing around the world. Some of the areas around the globe where baseball has caught on and is popular include the Pacific Rim, Japan, Korea, uh, Taiwan, has be it's become popular. Japan is a baseball uh, mad country, uh, and many of the stars of the game uh, are Japanese stars. One of the early stars of Japan was Satohara Oh, who became the all-time home run leader in baseball. Uh, in the more contemporary times, we have players like Ichiro Suzuki and Daisuke Matsuzaka, who have come to this country and taken their stardom from Japan and transplanted it into the Major League Baseball and have done exceedingly well, particularly Ichiro, as a star for the Seattle Mariners. Latin America has produced more modern baseball superstars than anywhere outside the U.S. But most of them have been lost to the rich American clubs. What we're seeing are, are uh, as much as one-third of all minor league baseball players are from two countries, the Dominican Republic and Venezuela. The New York Yankees superstar, Alex Rodriguez, the highest paid player in the major league, comes from a Dominican family. In many ways, countries like, a country like the Dominican Republic, where the standard of living is not that high, baseball has provided an outlet for young men to leave the island and make a career for themselves, and oftentimes a high-earning career if they are successful in Major League Baseball. And so that's one of the reasons why it's so popular among the youth of the Dominican Republic. But what about the rest of the world? Uh, we have begun to see development in Europe. Uh, the Netherlands actually is one of the areas in, within Europe where, where there is a, a serious baseball interest. In fact, some Major League Baseball players have come from the Netherlands. So have people started to think about baseball as a global game yet? Not really, but there is progress. The globalization of the game, its popularity in the Pacific Rim, its popularity in Latin America, Australia, and other parts of the globe, and its growing popularity, start to mean that this is more than an American game. <laughs> 